Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to start a new series which is called Microsoft Copilot. So, what do we understand in today's video is what is Microsoft Copilot and what exactly the call flow we are going to create. Okay, so before diving in, uh, we will see what exactly is the Microsoft Copilot uh, as per the my understanding. Okay, so Copilot is nothing but another large language module LLM, uh, which is similar to what we have as a chat GPT, right? uh is a product from the microsoft side you can see over here microsoft logo and this is the copilot right and this is similarly like a uh, uh, large language model gpt we have like give me uh, how to make a t right so it will give you the answer based on its languages right so certainly the it will provide the steps how to do that okay so now where to use and how to use copilot in our industry okay so where copilot has been released by microsoft so let me explain this okay so now copilot microsoft have many products right you know it has a dynamic 365 which is crm uh, then it has microsoft 365 which is nothing but office right you have outlook uh, uh, what uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft uh, Office, Microsoft Excel and all this thing, right? Then it has Windows, then it has various industry, Azure, Power Platform, right? And it has GitHub, right? So everywhere they have launched the Copilot specific to those domain. And if you ask any query, it will provide you either the solution. Uh, if you are using GitHub, it may provide you the code, right? If you are using Dynamics 365, it may create a sample data for you. Or if you are using in the Microsoft Word, right, then it will write an article for you, whatever the particular feature or the solution that you're looking for, right? So uh, this is what Microsoft uh, Microsoft integrated Copilot in their various uh, products, services, or the lines that they have. Okay. Now what we will see is we will try to create a Microsoft Copilot bot, okay, chat bot we will create, okay, and we will see what are the capabilities and what exactly we can do, how we can do, so those things that we will see. As you can see over here, they have provided many features, customized build design platform, right? Uh, you can also release the bot in uh, Microsoft Teams, right? What they have given is handle critical uh, scenarios like over here. If you want to create a ticket, you can use Copilot to create it or ask any suggestions, right? It can integrate uh, with many of your third party solutions like Workday, Office email, for example, if email, right? If you get an email from a particular person with attachment and you want to read that Excel and do a certain task, you can use this uh, copilot capability right so those are the features uh, it has right uh, and where we will be developing uh, we will be developing in our this thing so you have to log in with uh, copilot studio microsoft.com currently it does not support your personal email id so you have to use company email id i'm using my connect email id over here official email id okay uh and what use case we will create so i am going to create two use case right simple ones first one we will target the flight status where uh, we will be asking the flight number i'm going to use the aviation stake uh, apis so if you go over here aviation stake so they are providing the apis right you can get the api and you can call that api over here uh, this is my api over here you can use it it's anyway 100 is the maximum limit you can go so what it gives is something like this uh, what we have to do is we have to pass the flight number once we pass the flight number it gives us uh, that what is the flight status for today uh, today's night right for today it's landed uh pune uh, flight was from pune to kolkata right netaji sorry my mistake and uh what was the schedule time to of departure right and what is a uh, scheduled arrival right so that those details are mentioned over here 
so that thing we will cover and then we will use the power automate so this is a logo of power automate uh, to call the api parse the json response and display the status which will be a simple uh, text based status that we will be displaying over there for another use cases what we will do is we will go to the flipkart uh, web service right and what for that uh, what we will do is going to ask particular item and similarly we will make a apis call to the flipkart uh, apis and then we will display in the rich ui right rather than displaying in the simple text we will display in the rich ui so these are the use cases which we will be covering in coming videos uh, for the microsoft copilot use case right and uh, for uh, flipkart api right you have to create your credential in flipkart affiliated program right and this is what the api looks like if i open okay so this is the affiliate api right and over here if i give the query let's say uh watch right so it will give me result in json okay and it will give me the details of uh the titles so there is no nothing uh what is mouse this api might be old because this is the api i have been using for past five six years uh, why i'm not getting the response all of a sudden xbox for xbox i am getting for let's say bottle yeah not sure why for others i'm not getting i will check on that but anyway uh when i search for the xbox right what it does it is gives me the title name right so that we will use and it also gives me something called uh, image that they display right so if i open that one in the browser tab so this should give me xbox image okay so this is what uh, we will get along with that i will get the price maximum retail price uh, flipkart selling price and other details like what are the offers going on if you want to display that kind of a details and uh, maybe it's little bit details yeah like sales package what it contains and uh, yeah description like what exactly the description of the product so we will use some of this uh, feature to show something in the uh either in the list or the carousel view and once user clicked over here right uh what it will do is it will open in the browser so that user can buy or continue the journey right over there right, instead of the uh, corporate and then at the end we will have anything else and blah 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 or let's say we will add something called survey uh, which typically comes out of the box so let it be over there so survey we will add over there uh okay and then we will have in chat and chat okay so this is what we are going to create in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and uh, if you like the videos like it and subscribe for upcoming videos notification thank you have a nice day